all kinds of living organisms and their environments and together with their interactions constitute biodiversity. In other words, all kinds of plants, animals and microbes found in the biosphere and their environments and together with their interactions are collectively referred to as biodiversity. There are four categories of biodiversity. The first category of biodiversity is what is known as genetic diversity. It refers to the differences among the living organisms in terms of genes, genetic material, or DNA, or genomes. The second kind of biodiversity is what is known as species diversity. It refers to the kinds of species found in the, bios in the biosphere. The third category is, is what is known as ecosystem diversity. It refers to the kinds of ecosystems that are found in the biosphere. The fourth category of biodiversity is what is known as human cultural diversity. This refers to diversity in languages, religion, food habits, and other lifestyles among the human populations. Human induced changes have been contributing to the rampant loss of biodiversity. In fact, 90% of the global species are threatened as per the, as per the red list of IUCN. More than 23,286 species are threatened globally with extinction. About 799 species globally were extinct. What is the status about India? In India, 132 species are critically, plants and animals are critically endangered. About 300 species are endangered. In other words, these number of species may become extinct in the near future. Now the question comes is, I must also tell you here that we are living in the age of species extinctions. And sixth mass extinction era has already started. What it means? The rate of, the present rate of extinction is 100 times more than the background extinction rates. Now the question is, what are the factors that are contributing to the biodiversity loss? Or what are the threats to the biodiversity? The first threat to the biodiversity is land degradation, which includes deforestation and habitat conversion. The second threat to the biodiversity is biological invasions, that is, invasive alien species which have, which have invaded over many parts of the world are threatening the biodiversity. The third is the climate change is also a major threat to the biodiversity. Finally, the pollution is also leading to extension of many species. India is one of the 12 mega diversity countries in the world. Seven to eight percent of the world's species are found in India. Seventy percent of flowering plants are, of the world are located in India. India is number one in the world with respect to the regions of crop diversity. About 160 species of crops have been evolved from India. 
and more than 300 species of wild relatives of crops are found in India. These are, in addition to this, India has large number of endemic species. 33% of flowering plants found in India are found only in India, nowhere else in the world. Similarly, 60% of freshwater species found only in India in the entire world. These are endemic species. 1.7 lakh of total plant, animal, micro species are found in India. Out of this 1.7 lakh species, that is 0.17 million species found in India, 45,000 species of plants, 98,000 species of animals, and 25,000 species of microbes are found in India. The number of micro species reported from India is very, very small, but more intensive studies may yield 1 million species of microbes from India. Now, let me tell you, it's very difficult to say how many species have become extinct from India, but I can say a large number of species have become locally extinct. What it means? For example, in Delhi, more than 15 to 20 species have become locally extinct. I'm not talking about the birds. You take, for example, about plants, Serpesia bulbosa, Tylophor asthmatica, were very common on the ridge, but today these species have become extinct. Now, what is the solution? how to preserve our biodiversity, which is essential for the sustenance of biosphere. Yeah, the only way is conservation. There are two approaches, on-site and off-conservation. We need to, what we call, bring more areas under protected area system, and we create more ex situ conservation centers. The third approach is creation of biodiversity parks where natural heritage is recreated or brought back through the ecological restoration process. And if we adopt these, what you call, conservation measures, we are sure to at least preserve some of the natural heritage that we have at present in our, what you call, biosphere. Mm -hmm.